Kevin Durant is a miserable human being, at least publicly. Now, privately, he may be a great dude. Privately, Kevin Durant may be the kind of guy that you go, hey, he's fun to be around. So this summer, Kevin Durant basically gave an ultimatum to the brass with the Nets. Either Kerr, or Kerr, either Nash goes or I go. Well, he explained it yesterday. And part of his explanation was so insulting. Look at our starting line of Edmund Sumner, Royce O'Neal, Joe Harris, Nick Claxton, and me. It's not disrespect. Sure it is. You know what? He's a butt guy. Cause it's no disrespect. But, but, what are you expecting from that group? So not only does he say that his teammates aren't good enough, he calls them out by name and then says they aren't good enough. You expect us to win because I'm out there? No, not really. I don't, I mean, you never really win without other guys. You expect us to win when we're playing? Like, shh, you know the one person they're going to look at. That's why I requested a trade. Well, no kidding. Is there, well, there are, and you see them on Twitter today uh, in my mentions. There are many, many, many people that are softer in this world than Kevin Durant, but very few. But I got to tell you, he's par for the course in the NBA because we make these guys six foot 11, seven feet, and he could put a ball through a basket. And we make this guy out to be some sort of Buddha. 